Analyzing a grid is a simple and logical visual exercise. The horizontal represents the individual task and its allocation of resources, and the vertical represents an individual's overall activities within a project. Firstly, looking at each row horizontally. If there are too many R's in one row, you have to question yourself whether too many people are involved on this specific task. Can they be better utilized elsewhere on the project? Would this cause potential conflict and duplication? On the opposite side of the spectrum, if there are not a sufficient amount of R's and A's on a horizontal line, does this mean that the job is getting done? Who will carry out the task? And who is ultimately accountable for its delivery? Is there more than one A in any one particular line? This could potentially cause confusion and conflict and result in trying to find a consensus rather than making any hard decisions. If there are a lot of C's in any one line, does this mean that too many people are being consulted? You have to think if this adds any specific value to the task or could end up with a situation whereby team members are consulting on a project task that they have not previously been involved with. Would this stall action or decisions being made and delivered? Similarly, if there are lots of eyes on the horizontal, are too many people being informed? Is this necessary? Do they even want to be informed? Right, turning to the vertical now. Are there too many R's on any one vertical column? Does this mean the team member has too much work on? Are their efforts being diluted across multiple different project tasks? Are there no empty spaces? Does this mean again that someone has too much involvement in everything? Do they need to be consulted with on specific tasks? Or could they just focus on what they are directly responsible for? If there are no R's or A's in any one column, is that person necessary on the project? Is their time being utilized wisely on that particular project? With too many A's, the project leader needs to question whether accountability is at the right level. Is the person allocated with all those A's the right person with the right authority to do the job and ultimately sign off each of the tasks? This often occurs in large hierarchical organizations. Can the project leader delegate out accountability to other levels of the organization? So, in conclusion, you'll be able to see that there are no right or wrong answers to an individual racy grid, but many questions that arise that allow a project lead or any team member to challenge their project decisions and use of resources.